Happy holidays. Y'all, it is first week of December. I'm feeling I'm feeling the pressure. I got my lavender oil and sweet orange oil in my uh little thing to, you know. It's just a lot going on, girl. Put it on my titties. It's <laughs> It's just a lot going on and I'm trying to stay, you know, pretty mellow because around this time is when my, for me personally, I know with a lot of people, my anxiety increases. So I'm trying to like, okay, take it one day at a time because it's, but it's, I get excited already, but then when I get excited and busy, that can cause anxiety. So sometimes you, you even though I'm not in a, oh my God, I, I I'm anxious to get stuff done. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. It's not like that for me. It's a combination. Oh my God, I have to get things done and I'm excited to do this and this is going on and we have Christmas, you see what I mean? But that can't, that's still a stressor, okay? So I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to bring it down. So it is the first week of December. Yeah, I really got to get my work out in um, uh, overall health. I'm nothing is happening. I just I'm determined now because I purchased some battle ropes, and battle ropes are, are those long quartered ropes that you. I found that for me, I canceled my gym membership months ago because look, before when I had my big girls on, I had to show documentation that I was using alternative ways to lose the titty meat, right? So, <laughs> y'all. I ain't cleaning it up. It is what it is. So, um, chiropractor, physical therapy, medication, or you losing weight. So I gave provided documentation that I was going to the gym three to four times a week. My ass still didn't lose any weight. I think I probably lost maybe five pounds the entire year, but it was fluctuating, going up and down. So I was maintaining the chubbiness. So when I saw that, I'm like, what the hell am I spending? At that time, I was spending $40 because I had JB on my plan too. Why am I spending $40 to come up here and stay chubby? I can do that shit at home. So I wasn't changing my eating habits. Um, and for me also, let me get back to working at the gym. For me also, I needed to break up things. I prefer to do weights and to do kettlebells, hit exercise, and then to sit on the treadmill climbing up the treadmill, you know, for 30, 40 minutes. But because I'm so self-conscious of my body, that's what I was doing. I just checked my mail and I got these gifts in from T. Thank you so much, girl. Look, you have impeccable taste and makeup. I, I feel like you know me. Like you, you read in my diary, girl, you, you know me. Yes, poor, this is no poor, no problem or uh, okay play on words no problem primer nyx uh professional makeup liner i think i have one of these and i do like these um and i have one of these too i like these uh a brow pencil and these are i'm not sure what these are are these lipsticks or girl mascara what am i whispering mascara are all four of these mascaras Yes, an Anastasia Glow Kit. This is very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate this. Hey, honey child. How are y'all doing? Let me get my coffee. I'm back to drinking coffee. Mm, it's cold here. Y'all, speaking of the weather, we're going to get into this look that you look, you, you see right now. Um, Arizona is extremely drastic and I want to tell people about it because I, I don't think a lot of people realize the different seasons that we can have here in Ar the state. Um, it is one of the hottest places in the U.S. and can be extremely cold. Now, one of the coldest places in the U.S. Um, where I live at in Phoenix right now, I think it's 50 degrees right now. Let me see what the weather's gonna be like today, actually, because it rained last night, okay? Then in the, I'll look at it later. In the uh, summertime, oh, we get triple digits, 115. I've been here when it was like 115. and But it's a dry heat, meaning it feels like an oven, whereas Texas, the South, 
it feels like a sweat locker due to the humidity, okay, due to the moisture in the air. Get to the point, girl. I read the saddest story this morning about what happened up in North Arizona. Going up towards the mountains, we have mountains here, but going to up towards the elevation, higher elevation, it gets cooler. We're about two hours away from Sedona. It snows in Sedona, okay? There's Flagstaff, the Grand Canyon. About an elderly couple, apparently they had gotten stranded outside of their vehicle and they proceeded to walk towards a house that had lights on during the Thanksgiving break. And it's been snowing since early November and they were found dead in the snow. Y'all, but what made it so heartbreaking, they were, they were older people too. The husband, I believe, was 79, the wife was 73. They were found 100 yards away from a house and the husband was found on top, they died of hyperthermia. The husband was found on top of the wife, so more than likely he was trying to shield her and warm her up. He probably died while trying to keep her warm and she died, you know, shortly after more than likely. But that is so horrible to know that they were literally, they could see help, but they couldn't get to it. And I read that the people who were in the house felt horrible knowing that they were having Thanksgiving dinner and there were people out there that were basically dead. Well, how would they have known? Um, that's just such a horrible story. It just breaks my heart to hear those type of stories around this time of the year. Um, my manager's mother-in-law died literally the week before Thanksgiving. That was just horrible. I sent her an email. And it's just, you know, a sad deal. So moving on to some happier things, y'all. It is Sunday. We are going to church today. And um, I think I may have found another church. Uh, Tierra Van goes to this church. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, but it's way out in Mesa. Tierra, we need to, um, you need to let me know what times you go to church so I can, so I can see when you're there. Um, I don't mind driving, you guys, but it depends. I would prefer to go to a church that's near me, but I don't drive a lot. I don't drive for work. So if I need to drive, if I find a good church, I will make the trip, okay? Even with the baby, I will. So she she has a church, and Tierra Van, y'all, is here on YouTube. She's Kelowna Curls. She shared a uh, Facebook message a couple of days ago that she's singing. I'm like, you sing too? We could have been doing some collab, you know? <laughs> My ass don't sing. <laughs> I'm a background singer. Yeah, I could do some mm, in the background, you know, whatever. But I can't lead no no song. Don't 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 let me lead. So anyway, I'm gonna check her church out. It looks like it's non-denominational, which I'm perfectly fine with, as long as you are, you know, uh, as long as you sanctified. I'm okay with it. But anyway, y'all, let's get into this hair. Y'all like my hair? I do have a video on this. It's probably already up. Um, I need to change this one. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. You could just, I could just easily move those up, you know, to make them look different areas of my hair. Yeah. I just changed it up a little bit. So, my hair is in mini twists. I, I shared some pictures on Instagram. I know some of y'all don't follow me on Instagram, which is perfectly fine, baby. But I shared some pictures on Instagram, and basically was like, this, these are my styles from this previous year. Hold on, y'all. It's a little crooked. There we go. These are my styles from the previous year, but I would not be doing a lot of these styles. I would be putting my hair in protective styles, protective styles, excuse me. At least two of you help us don't be, I know more and more, more of y'all don't believe me, but at least two of you don't believe me. Tell me, you know, I don't think you can be, let, let me tell you something. <laughs> you know I'm playing with you, baby. But I typically, before I, well, let me back up. First of all, I don't go into a nine to five. I don't have a workplace I need to go into. So before I was really getting into styling my hair, this twist, right after I wash my hair, I put my hair in twist, that is it. I only started styling my hair for product reviews on this channel. Girl, I do not like to do my hair. I don't like to detangle my hair. I don't like to wash my hair. I don't like to set my hair in style. I don't like to take down my hair. I don't like doing my hair. <laughs> so, this right here, I like doing this. Let me show you my favorite style. Hold on, just a second. Hold on, girl. Mm -mm, I'm gonna show you. 
my favorite style for my hair. To the point, I've mentioned this before, when I was just at, uh, I went to the grocery store when I had my hair in that high puff perm rod, and people were like, oh, the people who worked there first, this is my favorite style right here. Looking all bit of country, but this is it. This is how I like to wear my hair. Cause I, it's out of my face. I ain't got to worry about it. Yeah, I, this is how I like to wear my hair. In a low bun and twist preferably. So anyway, I had my hair in that high, that high um, perm rod set from the previous video. One of my previous styles, excuse me, I'm tired. It's six o'clock here. And one, a couple of people were like, wow, you look really nice. Because again, they're used to seeing me like this. The only time the only time I actually do my hair again is for YouTube and every time I, this is sad, but every time I've actually styled my hair, I've done a video on it because I don't do my hair. I don't y'all. So next year will be the year of protective styling. And, um, even before I went natural, I really didn't do wigs or wigs. No, no, actually that's a lot. I was doing wigs when I went natural cause I shaved my head and I was doing half wigs when I was transitioning. Okay. The blend in my hair. But that was only like for a year. You know, I did that for a year. I guess my whole point is that I've worn my own hair more than I've worn fake hair. So for me to put weave into my hair for a protective style is not me. I've had braids once and they were heavy as hell. I have a big head and I have a lot of hair. So to add hair to this hair, no, I'll just rather put my hair in twists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm, I am baby y'all it is we're not going to church today it is cold hold on let's change the it's cold and rainy oh it's cold y'all bought some battle ropes that I'm going to be putting out here and exercising they're pretty heavy I'm going to be attaching them to that 15 pound weight and exercising it is gray skies ugh JB if you don't put that down Mom, can you fill back up my tire? Uh, we're gonna have to get a special type of air tire thingy. Yeah, I don't know how to talk.